friends, thanks for joining me again, and I wish I could do this video outside, um, but unfortunately it's windy and I don't want too much wind noise. So anyway, I want to tell you the six things that it really takes to have a perfect chicken coop. Now I will say, there is no one-size-fits-all, this is the one chicken coop that's perfect and all the rest are subpar. No, it definitely depends on, you know, a person's, you know, uh, area where they live or the things that they have to deal with or how many they're going to keep and that sort of thing. And so it can change from one person's situation to another, but all chicken coops are going to have these six things suited to, you know, your particular context. And so that's how you would know that you're getting the perfect one. Whether you're building it or you're picking it out, I want to help you to make sure that you're getting the perfect one for your needs. So the first one is going to be weather. Everybody experiences different types of weather, and so you need to make sure that your chicken coop obviously is, you know, going to work for the weather conditions that you get there. So if you get a lot of wind, you're definitely going to want something that's good and sturdy in that wind. If you get a lot of snow, you know, something that's going to be able to handle all of that snow weight, but also, you know, to be able to keep the chickens inside at a, you know, reasonable temperature. Um, if you get a lot of heat, like a lot of heat in the summertime, you're going to want something that's well sheltered so that they don't get too hot, maybe a lot of ventilation, that sort of thing. So your perfect chicken coop is definitely going to have to have, you know, what it needs to be able to stand up to whatever weather conditions that you have in your area. It's also going to be predator proof, and I mean proof. <laughs> I unfortunately made this mistake once, but you have to make sure that your chicken coop can be closed at night so that predators can't get into it. For a long time, I had a chicken coop that had like a little ladder where the chickens had to go up into uh, bed, basically to go to bed at night. And for a long time, I left it that way and it worked out fine until one night, and I found this out again the hard way, a fox decided to run up there. It was just extra desperate for a meal and so, it was just getting extra brave and it was willing to go up into the chicken coop to try to get its meal. So make sure that your chicken coop is totally predator proof, that you have the ability to lock its door at night so that you can shut the chickens in and that no predators can get to them. At the same time, you also have to make sure that the run is also predator proof. So it's the perfect chicken run is going to have, you know, walls on all sides and on the top and underneath. So we even had a fox that was trying to burrow underneath to get to our chickens. So he would have gotten, he, she would have gotten to the, you know, chickens had we not have put fencing underneath. Nowadays, we just have a big, thick, sturdy um, pole there that, you know, makes it to where they can't burrow under. And then there's some rocks and things like that that make it, you know, not ideal to be able to dig. And so, yes, you definitely want to make sure your chickens are protected from all sides. And if you have a really good run to where the chickens can go in and out of the run and the run isn't, you know, completely enclosed, then you don't have to worry about locking your chicken coop, which is actually really important if you want freedom anyway, because <laughs> otherwise if you're a chicken coop, you know, chicken farmer or just, you know, a urban homesteader like I am, semi-urban now, um, you kind of feel nailed down to your chickens. Like if you want to go somewhere, you know, your friends invite you out for dinner or you know, you're just going somewhere, whatever, um, you feel like you have to be home around dark so that you can shut your chicken coop so that they don't get eaten. Um, if you have a, a run attached to your chicken coop that your chickens can go in and out of and the run itself is completely predator proof, then they can't get into the chicken coop either. So your chickens can let themselves out in the morning, they can let themselves in at night, and then you have the most ideal situation. You don't have to do it first thing in the morning, you don't have to let them out, you don't have to be there right at dark, you know, to make sure that it doesn't you know, you don't end up with predators that way. And so, yeah, a chicken coop and the chicken run being completely predator proof is probably the most important thing that I can think of to making sure that you get the perfect chicken coop. The right size for your flock size. <laughs> this is also really important because it can be really easy to um, take a smaller chicken coop with a smaller run and then think it can handle a lot of chickens, but this can actually cause a lot of problems. So definitely the right coop is going to be just the right size to where it's not huge and then it's hard to heat but you only have a few birds, or the other way around where they're just really stuffed in this tiny little coop because you have a lot of chickens. So yeah, keep that in mind when you're getting your chickens, how many you're going to need like I mentioned before, and you know, uh, get the appropriate size for the amount of chickens that you're going to need. Easy to clean and maintain. This is another really important one. They're all important. 
So you want to make sure that your chicken coop is easy to clean because if it's not easy to clean, you're not going to clean it as much. So, and that can spread stuff like sicknesses and diseases and things like that. It can make a smell, it can make your neighbors upset. All kinds of problems can result from that. So making sure it's a nice, easy, clean, easy to clean system is definitely important to making sure not only the flock is healthy and happy, but you are too, and you don't have to be doing extra work, you know, trying to crouch in spaces to get to things or, you know, whatever. Different things that might make the coop less, you know, ideal to clean often. The perfect chicken coop is going to have some nest boxes. Now, I have had a few chickens and I've had a lot of chickens. <laughs> And it is my experience that no matter how many chickens you have, it seems like they always lay all of their eggs in like one or two nesting boxes. So they recommend, you know, that's what I heard when I first started keeping chickens, that you have a nesting box for every four or five chickens. But again, even when I've had like 15, 16 chickens, they would all use like one or two of the nesting boxes. So, <laughs> Yeah, as long as you have a couple of them, you probably should be fine. You don't have to go crazy building a whole bunch of them because again, they're probably not going to use them. Instinctively, they lay their eggs all in one spot so that one chicken can lay on them and keep them all warm. Um, that way they can all hatch at the appropriate times. So yes, this is why they do that. They put all their eggs together so that they can all stay safe together and stay warm together. So just as long as you have a nesting box or two, you probably should be fine. You definitely need a nesting box though, because if you don't have a nesting box, they won't know where to lay their eggs, and then they're more likely to get broken, and all kinds of problems can result from that. So definitely don't skimp on this one. Make sure you have a nesting box, a specific spot where they can kind of sit, be by themselves. The eggs will stay nice and safe. They're not gonna like plump on a hard floor and break or anything like, you know, like that. Something that'll protect the eggs. Keep them clean so that you don't have too much washing to do later. Um, and yeah, so not only just having a nesting box, but something that's, you know, easy to clean and get to is also important. And then the sixth one, the last one is going to be a roosting pole. Again, this is an instinctive thing that the chickens like to do. They don't want to sit on the floor. So they like to get up off the floor. They like to usually have something to sort of sit with their feet and then crouch down on. And that's how they like to go to sleep. So an ideal roosting pole is actually going to be round, but you don't have to. I've used other things like two by threes or, or yeah, two by threes or other things like that, pieces of wood. And they'll pretty much just sit on anything that gets them up off the ground and something that they can kind of grab onto with their feet and then crouch down and sit. And so, yeah, this is definitely something that's going to help them to sleep better. And, you know, they just need this in order to be happy pretty much. So, yeah, those are the six things. Something that's weatherproof, predator proof, it's the right size, it's easy to maintain, it has a nesting box or two, and it has a roosting pole. So those are the six things that will make your coop a perfect coop for you. So thanks for watching this video. I'm Frugal Green Girl. Hopefully you found this video helpful and we'll see you next time.